Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's Mike here with Mike's Drones and More and you're probably wondering what the heck you are looking at here on my build table. Well, uh, today I'm going to be actually building a um, mantis claw for drone recovery. Um, now the video that they include in the packaging is not exactly the same as the one that you get. It's a little bit different. This is the smaller version and I could not find a video for this so I figured I'd make my own build video. So uh, when you get your package in the mail you're gonna get all the hardware that you need. Um, it comes with these are just standard Phillips and they do come with lock nuts and you get this one big uh, eye bolt here and it comes with two different uh, bolts. It comes with a lock nut or just a regular uh, washer so I would suggest probably use the lock nut um, just so it stays on tight and then you get um, a whole bunch of these little guys here. Let me just undo these real quick here, drop them out. All right, so you get a whole bunch of these little doodad things right here, and you get two of these bases. So um, first thing, what you're going to want to do is kind of just lay everything out nice in, in the same way that it comes, uh, so that way you know exactly what part you've got. All right, so the next step what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these bases, and basically we're just going to take this little guy and we're going to insert him into the bottom. So um, what I'll do is I will do that really quick and then I'll show you guys when I get back. Okay guys, so that's what you want to do. You want to put all those little guys in just like that basically. So they're all kind of facing like that. Um, next what you're going to do is you're going to take this little guy and you're going to put him on top. So basically that's kind of going to smoosh in between those two. So I only have two hands, so I'm going to put the phone down and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright guys, so this is what it should uh, look like when it's done. And then what you want to do is, um, I was trying to put everything together so I didn't lose this. So once you get it together, you put that eye bolt through the middle and then you use that lock nut and you tighten it down on the middle. Um, so you can see I used my helping hands because I got tired of this thing falling out of my hands and the little pieces falling out so I just used my helper hands and then uh, I just used some uh, pliers to hold on to the lock nut underneath and uh, basically that's all you've got to do so next uh, what you're gonna do is I'll show you the next part we're gonna actually start assembling the arms next alright guys so here is the first part of the arm assembly so once you get one arm together it's pretty much the exact same process as all the other arms so what you're going to do is you're going to grab one of these dudes right here. So you've got um, two separate kind of arms. You've got these more rounder ones, and then you've got these ones right here. So um, this one right here is got this pointy on one side. It kind of almost looks like a bird's beak on one side, and it's round on the other side. So how this is going to go is it's going to go in right here. So you see right there, and you're just going to push it right in, and then see it's got a little bolt, and then... You're just going to line it up with that bolt. And then uh, what you want to do is when you're tightening your bolt, you want to make it to where it can move. So um, basically if you tighten it and it doesn't move freely, then just loosen it up a little bit. They do provide you um, screws and lock nuts, so you won't have to use Loctite unless you really want to. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get the next arm and then I will show you the next part. Okay guys, so the next arm that you're going to be using is this one right here. So there's, you get five of the, I don't know, I call them the bird beak ones, and then you get five of these. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab one of these guys, kind of looks like half a wishbone or something, and then um, there's two distinct sides. So there's one here that's kind of more curved, and there's this one that's kind of got this weird like little groove in it. So you do not, this is not the part that goes in. The nice round part is the one that goes in and it goes just like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to just take it and then basically you're just going to slide that guy right up in between, this is hard to do, <laughs> right there. And then you put another screw just like that. And then um, just like the other arm, um, you don't want to uh, tighten it to where it doesn't move. You want it to freely be able to uh, move because this whole thing is going to move. So once you do that you tighten it down now the next part is we're gonna actually assemble one of the little grabbers or little claws so you notice you get five pairs or you get ten of these all together so there's five pairs and it takes two to assemble one arm so what you're gonna do is basically is we're gonna take it here 
and we're going to put one on one side and one on the other side and then I will show you guys what that looks like in just a minute. Alright, so here you go. So that's what the claw is going to look like, at least one of the arms. So see, basically when it, when it goes up, it's going to go like that. You want it to freely move because once it drops down, it's going to grab your item and bring it up like that, see? So you want everything to kind of freely move, which is really nice. In their video, in the build video for this uh, company, they show a wishbone thing. that do This doesn't come with a wishbone. Um, so basically you just kind of got to go like that. But uh, let me kind of turn it around here so you can kind of see. So you can see how I wedged the arm and then the screw goes in between. So it's kind of like a bottom plate and a mid plate for like a drone basically, right? So, all right. So uh, basically what you got to do is just do this exact same thing five times. <laughs> so uh, what I'll do is, guys, I'm going to uh, complete my claw and then I will show you what mine looks like when I get back. All right, guys, so here we are. Here is the finished product. This is the claw, or the uh, the Mantis claw is what they call it, I think. The Mantis, yeah, Mantis claw kit is what they call it. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's a pretty cool little nifty little um, tool. I'm definitely going to be using it to do some retrieving of quads and such and stuff like that. So um, let's give it a little, kind of like a just a quick little test here. So basically, uh, let me undo it from my... Uh, let me grab it from my arms here, and I'll be right back. All right, so here's what it does when it... So you see, you drop it down, a little bit of pressure, and it goes back up, and those claws will grab. So kind of like those uh, claw machines uh, that never work. So let's just pretend this is a down drone somewhere, and we'll just kind of... Like that, see? And it actually grabs onto it pretty good. So uh, let me uh, get this off of here really quick. Here we go. Ah, hold on. All right, so let's test it with a uh, with a battery. Now, obviously, this is not going to work on every situation or every you know kind of different thing, but I think yep, there we go. So as long as you can get like at least a clog, it might take you a few times to get it, but you know as long as you you can get the hook on at least something um, around it you know, it's it's probably going to work. And like I said, it's not going to work perfectly on every single thing. We'll do some electrical tape. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, I'm probably going to be playing with this thing. So anyway, so this is the uh, the Mantis Claw Kit. Um, I will leave a link down in the description for you guys um, if you want to get it. I think it ran about 20 bucks on Amazon. It was like 14 and then it was like um, another $5 for shipping. It's not Amazon Prime eligible, but that's okay. Um, the whole thing probably took me about, oh, close to an hour to put together. It wasn't really that hard, but their video um, is, is okay. It's just, I thought I'd make something a little bit easier for you guys to see. Um, so next what I'm going to do is not in this video, but we're going to make a separate video where I'm actually going to um, hook it up to my DJI Phantom um, and we're going to take it out and we'll test it and see if this thing is uh, worth the 20 bucks that I paid for it. Um, so guys, if you like my short tutorial on how to put together this Mantis Claw Kit um, and this little device, I think it's pretty cool, uh, hit the thumbs up button. If you like my channel, if you like my DIY how-tos, tips, tricks, uh, all that stuff, um, hit the subscribe button down there. And uh, if you want, there's a little bell that just lets you know when we have new videos. I typically have one every um, Monday or not Monday, sorry, every Wednesday, and I try and throw some other videos in there for you guys. So thanks, guys, for watching the video, and um, we'll uh, see how this thing works out this next week coming up here, and we'll test it out, and um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and as always, let's keep our drones up in the air, flying high. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for hanging out. Have an awesome day.